Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm a mom and an astrologist. And on TikTok, they have this filter where you can put in your birthday and somebody else that you want to compare to, and it shows you the moon that was present on that day. I've been asked to share what those energies mean. Like if you're born with a new moon, what would that mean for you in your chart? The information I'm going to share over the next posts are actually from my friend and mentor, Sarah Elise. In her moon school, she shared with us what the different phases are. And in order to use this information, you do need to find your birth chart. To discover your birth chart, you will need to know your time of birth, your location, and of course the day of birth. Then take that information, go to the link in my bio, and enter it in um, with the steps that it shares there to create your birth chart. If you don't know your time of birth, you can check with your vital records of your country or your state and see if they have a record of it, talk to um, the hospital maybe, or even look in a baby book. If all else fails, I do offer chart rectification where through talking with each other, we come up with an approximate date for you. Then you're going to look for the sun sign, which is a circle with a dot in the middle, and the moon sign, which looks like a moon, and you're going to count the degrees difference between the two. The moon might be right on top of the sun, it might be above it, it might be behind it or across from it. You just need to count how many degrees they are apart from it. From there, you are able to discover the energies and emotions that you were built, born with in a deeper level than just what sign and house you were born in. Now, if you're wondering about relationships, then that's something called a synastry chart where you put your chart with your partner's chart on top of it. If you need help with that, you can send me a message or um, an email with that link, you know, that you can click in the place. Um, and I can give you a referral to an astrologist that practices that and loves to do those kinds of things. So let me know if this series ends up being helpful to you. On to part two.